Hello, my name is Estelle Smith and I am a PhD student at the University of Minnesota. The title of this talk is Keeping Community in the Machine Learning Loop. Uh, thank you so much for attending. I realize CHI 2020 couldn't happen in person, but I'm glad to see you here, at least in virtual space. So let's get started. Typically, when we're talking about human in the loop systems, we have three major components to the system. So the first is that we have some type of a repetitive task that needs to happen continuously and often in real time. For example, patrolling Wikipedia for vandalism. The second component is some type of an algorithm that we're using to semi-automate the task. And finally, we loop in a human to complete the task because the general assumption is that human judgment is better than machine judgment. Um, however, there's a little bit of a problem with this. So in any one instance, we have one human who's making a decision but there are many, many different community stakeholders who all have some type of uh, stake in the outcome of these individual decisions. And not all stakeholders would make the same decision given the same input information. So the motivation for this work is how can we think about values of the entire community as we're designing human in the loop systems? Because we know that the way we design systems impacts human behavior and impacting behavior will ultimately impact the outcomes of the system. So how are we currently moderating content that's generated on Wikipedia? Well, there are both machine learning based and non-machine learning based pipelines for reverting damaging edits and edits are often removed uh, if they're damaging within either a few seconds to a few hours up to a few days or weeks after they were made. But there's a problem because when edits are reverted, this can actually damage the motivation of the people who made those edits. And this is especially important in the case of newcomers. So Wikipedia needs newcomers in order to thrive and grow and fill content gaps. But if those newcomers are having their motivation damaged by machine learning systems, which prior work suggests that they are, uh, then this is damaging to the community at large. And in general, machine learning systems always carry with them the risks of unintended consequences. So we want to understand how can we build these machine learning and artificially intelligent systems for Wikipedia without harming the community. And we studied this in the context of ORS, which is the Objective Revision Evaluation Service. And instead of saying that many times throughout this talk, I'm just going to use this little robot guy here to represent ORS. ORS has been online since 2015. It's a collection of machine learning algorithms that's accessible in real time via a web service and API. And ORS generates predictions about edit quality. So for example, is this edit high quality or is it likely to be damaging? Um, it also generates predictions about the intentions of the users. So was, was this a good faith edit or was this somebody who was really likely just committing an act of vandalism? ORS also generates predictions about draft and article quality as well as draft and article topic, but I'm going to be focusing on edits in this talk. ORS is widely deployed across many different contexts in Wikipedia. So there's about, there's over 30 listed on this link here, but uh, one of the common ones is recent changes, which is a list that in real time feeds edits to, encyclop edits to Wikipedia as they are coming in. And patrollers of Wikipedia often look at real recent changes in order to find instances of bad edits that need to be reverted and removed from the encyclopedia. So Huggle is similar. It's a tool for hunting down bad edits and helping to revert them. It looks something like this, generally. So we have edits coming in from the internet. All these little gray circles here are representing any edit that was made by anyone. And the second that edit gets submitted, ORS takes a look at it, uh, takes a look at it and generates a guess. So all these green circles are ORS's guess that, yeah, this edit is probably most likely high quality. But we also have cases where we are pretty sure that this is damaging. So these two red circles are pretty likely damaging edits. And there might be a couple of other instances where we really should get a pair of human eyes on it, which is good news because in most cases, the way that ORS applications are built is that they add a human at the end of the loop to look at ORS predictions and then make a judgment about what should be happening with that content. So again, the question here is how can we keep community in the loop while designing these types of ORS based systems and tools? We used qualitative methods to gather perspectives from five stakeholder groups. So specifically, we conducted semi-structured interviews with 16 participants, including the creator of ORS himself, two tool developers who are building open source tools that call ORS in order to generate predictions. We interviewed four members of the Wikimedia product teams, we interviewed seven editors, as well as two researchers who also use ORS regularly in the line of their research on Wikipedia. 
And we ask questions like, what's your role on Wikipedia? What types of experiences do you have related to ORS? So for example, using ORS as a patroller or building tools that call ORS, uh, even being impacted by ORS as an editor yourself. We also asked about people's opinions and ideas for the future development of ORS and ORS related systems. We used a grounded theory method approach to analyze the interviews. So this involved first transcribing all of the interviews, next completing a round of open coding. We conducted a series of immersive group meetings to cluster the codes. Finally, we discussed and iterated on the themes until we were satisfied that our results accurately represented the opinions and values of our stakeholders that we interviewed. So the results were that we had five convergent community values. And what do I mean by convergent? Well, it's possible that different stakeholder groups could have very different values. However, this isn't what our data suggested. In fact, we didn't find much conflict at all between stakeholder groups. However, there were some intrinsic conflicts between the values themselves. So I'll be providing examples of that a little bit later in the talk. And these are the five values that emerged. I'll be talking about effort reduction, human authority, and positive engagement. And if you're interested in the other two, workflow support and community trust, I'd encourage you to check out the paper. So our first value of effort reduction means that ORS and ORS dependent systems should be reducing the effort of community maintenance. So on Wikipedia, with so many edits coming in every single day, it takes a huge amount of work to make sure that those edits are high quality and meeting standards that have been set by the community. So people spend a lot of time doing this, which detracts from other things. So for example, one developer said, if we can leverage the manpower that we do have with more automation, these people will have less backlog and can focus on other contributions. So this was one of our first and most obvious values. The second was human authority, human authority. And this one was hugely important to the stakeholders that we interviewed. Uh, what this means is that ORS and ORS dependent systems need to be maintaining human judgment as the final authority. And you can kind of think of this on a couple of different levels. So according to one editor, ORS's purpose is more to create lists of possible problematic pages or edits for human editors to look at rather than take action fully automatically. So we definitely need to make sure that humans are involved in the process of evaluating these edits. Uh, another possible problem is that humans can come to over rely on machine predictions in, at which point the judgment isn't even really being used. So another editor said that I wouldn't rely on ORS 100% of the time. I would still have to use my brain to make a decision. Next, I'll talk about positive engagement, which is the idea that ORS should be encouraging positive engagement with diverse editor groups. So one researcher said, I think that article quality is driven to a large extent by the diversity of hundreds of users. However, Wikipedia currently has an ecosystem that's very functional for the people who are currently involved in that ecosystem, but it's a little bit hard to break into. So there's this quote from a Wikimedia Foundation employee. The current ecosystem of Wikipedia limits the diversity of the contributors. So the ecosystem needs to change in order to be more welcoming to certain kinds of people. And algorithms have a huge role to play in helping to be more welcoming to people that are coming to Wikipedia, especially for the first time or who are underrepresented in the community currently. So these are the five values that emerged from our study, but how can we practically respect these values? There are 25 specific recommendations in the paper but at a high level, we need to explicitly consider these values at every phase of, algorith of algorithm development, and we need to aim to balance value conflicts when they arise. So for example, there's a value tension between effort reduction and positive engagement. Specifically, it's very easy and takes less effort to just revert an edit and make it go away, but that might have negative consequences for the user who created that edit. In the words of one developer, because we do everything in real time right now, it's very reactive and very combative. If good faith editors do something and a few seconds later they immediately get a reversion notification, maybe those cases can be done later. What's the worst thing that will happen? Maybe somebody will see a syntax error for half an hour, an hour, or maybe even a day. That's maybe not so bad. So the developer is explicitly calling out the idea that there's different values that we need to consider here. One is effort and the other is the experience of the user who's affected by this edit reversion process. So there are three levels where we can integrate these community values, the algorithm itself, the user interface, and the work process that surrounds both the algorithm and the user face, interface. And I'm going to use the values of human authority and effort reduction to kind of demonstrate how we can use these values in practice. So 
there's an inherent conflict between human authority and effort reduction because the maximum way to reduce effort is to completely take humans out of the loop and let the machines do everything. But that, of course, violates the human authority value. Um, but one thing we can do is as we're su selecting different, uh, different goals or different tools that we want to build, we can tweak algorithmic parameters appropriately. So in this case, a true positive is a damaging edit and a true negative is a good quality edit. So let's say you wanted to build a counter vandalism bot. Then the goal is to find bad edits and revert them. We can do this by minimizing false negatives, or in other words, minimizing the cases when a bad edit is not caught. Or if you wanted to build a semi-automated edit review tool, you could instead minimize the false positives, because your goal is not to, rev is to not revert edits that are actually good. The next level is the user interface. So how can we integrate values at the level of the user interface? Well, one way we can do this is using interactive visualizations. For example, making sure that our inputs are very clearly tracking to our outputs in these systems. Another thing we can do is make it more obvious when we know that the system made a mistake by showing errors and showing the raw predictive scores. Finally, we can think about integrating these values at the level of the work process. So these are three processes that actually do happen in this sequence currently on Wikipedia. First, we have automated bots that will revert highly likely edits. Second, there are semi-automated review tools that we can use to use humans in the loop to revert edits. And third, we might deploy some type of a socialization tool. Now, this is debatable. We might think about these things differently if we were um, using different values to inform how we design the system. So uh, thank you so much for listening to this presentation. Uh, again, you can reach out to me uh, at my email, which is listed below, or find me on Twitter. Thanks so much for your attention.